your audience for da 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 the internet can totally da 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 Welcome, welcome back to my prototype work stuff. If you don't know, I'm trying to make a prototype for the game engine, which is kind of ready on the data side. I mean, the game file side is already, hopefully, finished. <clears throat> but the only thing needed is to prove that the bots are working and finish some of the bots. That take the data and make them something useful. That's why I'm trying instead of working on a game is to try to prove that all these parts are working one by one and oh boy I'm still stuck on the game menu. Don't I? I thought it would take much less time, but what to do what to do so Today I'm working on the morning because two days ago. I sacrificed the whole day to stay awake so I can fix my sleep because for more than two months for now I'm working at night and walking at night is kind of a little bit hard because at night I feel it's playing times it's um, I'm free it is uh, I don't have to work <coughs> and I'm glad this is the second day that I start working on the morning yesterday I done a few chores and um, Went to the market, clean, clean up all the dishes I have left over, and stuff and stuff. And worked for three hours and then I felt tired. So at uh, afternoon, it was afternoon too, I decided to, unfortunately, instead of working because I almost felt asleep, to waste some time to sleep at the, at the evening. So I keep my uh, sleeping pattern. And uh, awake at the morning. And today I wake up before six. I made actually a few chores. I clean up outside. I clean up inside. I clean up some mess. Had a breakfast. And hey, it's still seven twenty-two a.m. It feels so damn and good. <clears throat> Hopefully, I will keep staying awake. One of the most productive months I ever had in the last year was when I used to wake up at four a.m. And hopefully this will keep on. So let's start the timer and let's take a look on the problems. The last problem I had is I made a few things in the game engine already. Behind the scene, I didn't want to bore the audience to death as usual. So we made, we fixed some issues with the font and the space up, but I didn't check all the spaces and all the sizes. Uh, made a, um, a variable. For the campaign in here to hold what's the key for the dialogue the dialogue key for the campaign name because this dialogue is saved inside the campaign not inside the game file i know i know i'm talking to you like if you were away with me in the project if i'm talking to someone who's working with me you will get confused but uh, I'm trying to speed up what I'm trying to do. The last problem is we have a list of buttons that load the... Yeah, I made the campaigns get loaded from the folder automatically. Uh, if someone put a new campaign here, let me show you. <coughs> so actually, to make campaigns, you must add them in the game file data and... We have a problem. A weird bug. An error occur while signing. Tell tell I have no clue what this error is. Anyway, so when I put a new folder with a camp dot camp, let me show you the code, it's easier. It's in the campaign, I believe. Yeah. It's called load additional campaign. Nope, it's in the game core. It sh shouldn't be... Yeah. So check the, the if the campaign already exists. Check, check if it is a core campaign that came with the game. Check if the name already exists. Check if... 
the map folder exists if everything is fine it add the campaign so i removed the second campaign from the core list and tried to add it and it was successful but the problem is we now have a list of buttons loaded in a list i turned it into a dictionary thinking that will solve the problem but unfortunately it didn't so i'm going to return and make it into a list again So the problem is, whenever I do a click on a component, it only detects the position of the mouse to check if I really clicked on the button or not, and uh, if it is a right or a left click. So I add another parameter to take the uh the component which component was it that you clicked on um so we will have our list back and even if i know the component i cannot tell which campaign did i just clicked on and this is a problem so actually uh, today on the morning while i was pre preparing my breakfast which was empty breads and coffee but hey um i got an idea and instead yesterday yesterday i was like let's add a variable in the menu component to save ex extra data that i can use for clicking and stuff and then i was like do you know what let's use it as a part of the name of the button so we have campaign mc then we can add and instead of adding c we could add actually we could add c2 no problem we add the name of the campaign and then we extract it from the name just like um www what just like the hyperlinks when they add extra data on the top to send it to the, to the page i got the idea from there yeah so here we will change the name uh let me make this one a little bit on the bottom so i can see if my connection is still alive or not all right so now it's part of the name and separated with underscore so let's um here in the mouse click we know the button name and here we will try to initialize the campaign so we are going to access the current game campaign dictionary and yeah, mm, we need some variable in here uh um you <clears throat> uh int k is equal to zero share function uh token um cam button id with k underscore so this will take the part of the name here and get rid of it because it returns to nowhere then we take it again and that will be the campaign name so we need to make initialize to the campaign name let's make sure that that's what we need to do and the campaign initialize it will add all the unique characters from the campaign to the core game hmm. if you need to start a new campaign i need to remove them i guess hmm. yeah we we need to make a, a purge a reinitialize to the game so if you start a new campaign you don't get the two unique characters and man that will be a disaster 
and it invoke all the tags, which is a good thing. Um, I need to fix the bug in here. I don't know what's going on, but I believe I need to restart this type of thing. But let's test it. Let's test it. Oops. Oh, I need to add uh, the button variable to all these guys. So this is a button MC in what? Oh wow, it's hardwired inside the um, buttons. If there is no delegate, I called it as a script. Freaking interesting. Unfortunately, the string, uh, the, the, the script, um, the SSI is not implemented, but let, let's carry on with it. Because soon or later, someday, I will revive it and we will have a real script language in our engine again. It's, it's there, but I didn't implement and connect the engine variables to it because it's too messy. And it's not that easy to add a script uh, part for dealing with the variables. I did it with the first prototype, but none of that will work anymore because I completely destroyed the infrastructure of the first prototype. It's a completely new thing. So here we will call it um, uh, my MC. And this one, where is it? This is the frame this time. This is to drag and uh, to close the frame. Well, who is this? This is the dialogue MC, something that I didn't finish. I just, um, um, what do you call it? A timberlate, you can say, an old timberlate that I might delete. And who is this? This is a text MC. Oh wow! Look at that. Uh, instead of searching for it, we could we could um, make o o big O of n into big O of one. Careful. And yeah, so here we do this and we do this and remove this. Oh, I must uh, convert it. But oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. When we find it. Oh, 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 this one take the focus out of all other text boxes. Okay, okay, okay. 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 But we could replace this one. And of course it's um here. Wait a second. What's the MSCC? Uh, um, I could do. Uh, 
I could do this and then access the the, the line that blink. Do you see the line that blink for the text? This is the thing. Alright. So it is useful to have to know which which component we are clicking on when we are clicking on this is the label. And once again it do the same thing. Alright, let's close these suckers. And give it a try. Oops. I done the same thing to the double click. So we need to do the same thing to the double click. And this is the inventory. And this is the test script not script uh, i don't know what s stands for small small dialogue i'm not sure <sighs> all right so when we click on campaign we get them in here and actually it took me a few good time to get to make the buttons bigger because they, these were too small because the Arabic font didn't fit and yada 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 and learn how the whole thing is working again uh, and you see there's an uh, yeah I have the same problem when I start the program there's no enter before to prototype and I have no clue who add the enter it's not the, the, the text wrapper see there's no inter but when i change the the font to arabic and back to english it add an inter for some reason and oh god i spent more than 10 minutes trying to figure out who the hell add inter and i couldn't find him and uh, now let's try to click on the prototype and crash Hmm. It says it's already been initialized for some reason. Uh, why is that? Who called the initialize? Uh, initialize should not be called. Yes. Uh, it's in the test game. It shouldn't be called. Um, hmm. And this, this is for <clears throat> when I used to immediately jump to the game to the map first map and test and stuff. Yeah, it shouldn't be initialized because we need to select a prototype and now we initialize and ta da! We didn't change the map because we didn't code the um, main component to. Um, load the first map so let's do that first of all let's close the stupid thing because that bug I believe is the, because of the connection to the versionizer or source control I don't know if it has a new name or not as well they like to change the, the names for these things sometimes from versionizer to source control to I don't know what's called now So we should have load um, the first map and make it active and maybe move the controller to make it uh, take control of Fokker. So please run. Oh, do, do, yeah. No certificated were found to meet all the given criteria. What does that e even mean? I believe it's the source control problem. Can't I sign in? Uh, 
All right, let's Google the error. Because, to be honest, I have zero clue. Zero clue. So, an error after C sharp. Oops, did I write C instead of, yeah. I think this issue related to your BFX file. Really? Uh, what? Um, what the hell is this? Deleted. Let's try again. Let's rebuild. Um, there's no rebuild. Nope. Maybe there is another BVX. This is the first time I see that error, to be honest. New clue. New clue. So we need to search more. Um, so this guy say deleted. But I didn't try to publish the damn thing. The certificate has expired. What certificate? The certificate has expired. Signing tab. Project property signing tab. Let's see. Project property property property. Let's go signing tab. What the fudge is this? Expiration date three six two thousand eighteen. But yesterday I debugged the damn thing. Oh, at 11 p.m. Yeah, I stopped working before. What the hell, dude? What the hell? Create a new one. What? Password. What the fudge is this? What the fudge? Okay. Calm down. Um... Sign the click once manifest. I could make an, a password here, but the, the, the thing is, I'm not sure what the hell is this. So, uh, Uncle Google, what are you? Sign tool is a command line tool that digitally signs files, verifies signature in the files, and timestamps files. 
This tool is automatically uninstalled with Visual Studio to run to use the developer commands prompt, prompt or the Visual Studio for more information. At the command prompt, type the following. So it is a tool that's only God knows who made it and the guys who made it, hopefully, that digitally sign the file. Hmm. Only God knows what does that mean. I only opened the command prompt for Visual Studio like one or twice only in my whole life. Anyway, 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 let's, let's type a password. Two thousand nineteen. So I'll see you error in the next year. It's funny, it just expired yesterday. Well expression dates only happened once, so I guess what were we doing? Completely forgot. Oh yeah, we will load the game. And we need to change the main menu map. This was a um, map resize test. And let's go to the campaign. And you see, we only have test map. We don't have test two because I removed it from this uh, game folder. So I test if someone else someday, uh, let's imagine we made a tool to make campaigns and publish it with the game or sold it separately that could make campaigns for the given game. So I won't know about it. So I removed test2, but the folder of test2 is in there, here, test2. And that's why uh, when you run the game, And you will see test two in here. And if we added more, it should the list get larger, and it get more. So now, when we click on test two, nothing happened as well because they uh, don't load the map. So let's go to the campaign and uh, select this campaign and load maps groups. That's it. It does nothing. Um, let's try to use the stupid tag builder. We made this to make this thing easier, so let's try it. Um, do I hmm, initialize the unique creatures? And why did I delete the, the script in here? It used to load the map and everything. So it's already load map group and activate. And activate. Why does it activate it? It's activate MM, which is the main menu. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no 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 This is not the responsibility of the campaign anymore. Uh wait, um eh let's copy it. This is the responsibility of the game game engine. Wait a minute. But I didn't initialize the game engine then Oh, my head. Uh, let me save and close and edit the file because we add a tag to the game. And look at that. It initializes the main menu. 
So, um, yeah, it seems I initialized it twice. Twice. So, um, yeah, we don't need this. So, let's select this one. And why didn't it save? Didn't I save? Oh, I didn't click on save on the tag. Silly you. So we need to uh, load T1. And I'm not sure if load maps group, activate maps, damn it. Uh, what? Really? I cannot load one single map and activate it? It must be a group. Fucking A. Fucking A. Alright, load maps group and activate. And the group ID should be uh, G1 is local and is encrypted. Isn't it a little bit dangerous to check if it is local and encrypted from the script? It, a little bit. So this is uh, the first um, command. The second command I might uh, do is placing the unique creature. Only God knows how. So let's go to the creatures. Nope. Uh, shared. Place unique creature. Go. Uh, unique creature ID is W1. Map ID is. Um, shit. Is T1. Uh, the position is. Oh, I cannot check the map like this. Save. Close. And the position is here. So if we take a creature for... for yeah. Block. So it is... Um, oh, crap. Um, Let's say 150, let's go to the creature themselves. Real walker, floor. Uh, 220, one. Two. 58.0892 what? 258 What's wrong? Come on So let's copy this <sighs> Let's try it Let's start. So we saved it in the test camp. No, this is from the test game. You want to do it the opposite. And pray, pray. Let's see what will happen. Oh, maybe I need to remove this map as well. And nothing happened. So let's take a look. So we have uh, two tags. The first one is load map group and activate it. Oh, maybe we need to assign the controller as well. Yeah. I mean, how can the camera knows where we are? If we don't change the camera and the controller, uh, yeah, we need to give um, the controller. But I want to see 
if the map is initialized so we need to go where where to check uh, the activision of uh, the tag it should be in the campaign because it's a campaign related tag oh sorry this is a campaign selector oh well um I cannot select the classes while I'm debugging. Too bad. Uh, initialize tags. Share tag initialize. Here. So. Yeah, it activated. It activated. Um, activate them we need to deactivate the main menu so let's do that um activate maps go activate map list oh can I disactivate maps with this oh god Activate maps and so um there is no deactivate maps so I need to make one so let's type that down but for now I shouldn't worry that much about it but later on you want to uh remove the maps from the update function list so it doesn't update these maps so uh, so we are making working on making the campaign loadable we add the reference to the menus that we clicked on and i forgot what i did in the last 20 minutes or 30 minutes <clears throat> but uh, now we need to um, uh, make the activate maps and fill the campaign one uh initialize tags uh, assign the unique character to controller zero. So let's do that. So we need uh, to where is the the map thing? The map simulator. We need to assign the creature. Assign controller. Go. Controller number zero, faction ID, faction ID is, um, it's a unique creature. Hmm. I guess I need to do that manually and pray that it will work because the unique creature don't exist in the map yet it added dynamically by the previous um, um, command or tag or whatever it's called I call it tag function yeah um, script wizard there save save and pray let's see how many crashes we will have today not you you're already running by the way what's the memory you're taking 
366. Okay. Because we are loading two maps. Uh, too much memory for a very small program. And... Oh. Um, the unique creature is a little bit too far. But yeah. We loaded up the first campaign successfully, people. We done it. We finally done it after all this freaking time. Uh, so the position is totally fucked up for some reason. Um, so the position should be uh, 366 now. Funny. Wasn't it 200 and... Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 what the hell? This thing is not fucking accurate, is it? What the hell? The calculate Y is not the actual Y, actually. But anyway, it's 34. Fuck these numbers. So, 1,600. I'm 32. Uh, but I need to calculate how. Oh God, I hate myself. Um, the height of the character. Yeah, I need to check out to update this function. Uh, it's not updated in the correct way. But never, never the list, never the list, never the list. Uh, test. Yeah. Um, 1,630. Save. Save. Run. Hey. Hello, worker. How are you doing today? Alright. Three. Now the calculate Y seems correct. Oh, what? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? 1630 But calculated Y is 430 Wait a minute, is this is a... It doesn't make sense Uh, maybe it's related to the screen stuff. Yeah. But when I took the Y f from here and multiplied by 48, it gave me the wrong number too. So in here, 34 multiplied by 48, as you can see, is 1600. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? A uh, shared function. Where is the shared function? Where is the shared function? All right, bastard. Where is this? All right. <coughs> so, map Y is 1630. 
He's in here. I'm missing something. Something is terribly wrong. And I hate myself. Uh, Alright, let's take uh, a note on that. So, I'm going to do something. It's placing another walker and call it W2. And place it on the floor. And um, attempt to find its position. Um... Now, how can I find its position? Without well, showing you the, the code in the file. No, that's a good question. Well, easy. Um, uh, This is a test game, no wonder. Oh, come on. Hmm, this is the turn the block position where Who's calling this function? So this is called Y. Alright. Then call Y is used for what? It's the calculate Y, the real Y. Then why the call Y is not call Y when it's call Y? Why? So I'm going to restart this thing. Funny, I didn't work for an hour and I start, yeah, yeah, I start to feel dizzy. And it hasn't been an hour yet. So let's uh, take a look core label. And check out what the fudge is going on before I lose my patience. It's called the cold wire. And it's based on the mouse move.
Maybe I need to change the, the, the core label at the end instead of the beginning. To give it more accuracy. Let me check something from the second screen. Alright. So let's load the game. Load the map. Uh, add a creature. Add a floor. Yeah, call wide now it's 730. Now it seems more accurate. But still, 730. When I bought it 1,600, it's... Um, nope, it's not accurate. It's affected by the zoom for some reason. Um, why is that? Why calculated why is affected by the zoom? Oh, maybe when I add it, I actually multiply it with the zoom at the end calculation. So this is the primitive calculation, which is when it's smaller, it should give a smaller number. No, it give a bigger number. Oh yeah, because I'm closer to the screen. Alright. So this is multiplied, it should be with the zoom, which is 0, 07. So let's make the zoom as 1. Ha, if that's possible. Fuck that. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Let's go to the map class, if I can access it. There is a way to access the classes uh, while the, the thing is running by opening the solution, but uh, screw that and the uh, sun start to hit the screen. Um, map resize, no, I want the map class. Map freaking class. So let's say uh, place <sighs> there's no place. Really? What did I call it? Let's see. Uh, the map class is a little bit big, so we need to scroll around. Add a creature. I don't believe it, a very silly thing, and I'm struggling to understand my old code. It's a very silly thing, it's just the position of the stupid creature. And I'm wasting a lot of time trying to figure out why the numbers doesn't seem correct. So it is 1619. And yet, when I place it 1,600, let's build it 1,619 exactly. Uh, load. I need to print the real X and real Y later on. Uh, setting. 1,630, and yet it was in the air. It wasn't on the floor. And uh, save, save. I was just seeing what happened if I click it more than once because it's making a new file every time and it's going to crash. You never know, you never know, you never know, you never know. You never know. 
and he's in the freaking air. So what's going on? What's freaking going on? So something is uh, not working. Shared function. Mob X. Move object. Why is it using move? Hmm. Oh. Okay. 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 So let's see the move object crap. So this is set X and set Y. Oh God. And this is create creature. Let's go to the creature class. Yep. Life is complicated. Creature object. And that's it. Um, uh, animation. Creature object. One of my most complicated classes so far. Uh, God. Hello. 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 Okay, calm down. Uh, do you remember a few months ago when I tried to fix the positioning and the interaction, the map and collision? Oh, this is for uh, leaving the maps. Wait. It's, uh, it's not overridden. And I cannot override it, can I? Because it's not Virgil. Yeah, it's not fucking virtual. <sighs> but uh, no, 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 no. Everything should be uh, fine. Um. Yeah, it's the mystery of the floating character. He starts in the air. Actually, he starts pretty far too. And I have no clue what's caused that. It's kind of shame. It's kind of shame. From all the problems that I could imagine, I could not imagine that. He starts like in the middle, so... Wait a second. I believe it's a different map. I manipulated the maps a few times, but I never moved them. 
I always move only the the, the file. Uh, the the campaign file. Maybe that's the problem. Ha! It was the calculation problem. It was I saw the the sky was too high. So I resized the map and made it a little bit uh, shorter. And I forgot to replace the map all the time. Silly me. And why there is a hole in here. So we started the game and we already died. So when I press F1, it replaced the character. Uh, wasted like 10 minutes because it was the wrong map all, all the time. Do you believe that? Uh, F1. Ah, uh, maybe I need to call the initialize tag. But anyway. So there you go. There you go. We finally loaded the cap, the campaign, from the main menu. If I load the second one, because we didn't put any tags in them, uh, it will do nothing. It will stare at uh, the main menu screen. Um, but we are not going to work on that now, would we? Would we? So silly you. It was a different map with different height. Uh, and we made the first campaign loadable finally. Fa fucking finally. So we need to remove the main menu from the active uh, list. So. Uh, Whenever we have to do list, it doesn't uh, get in the calculation and call the timers and everything. Even though it doesn't have a file, doesn't have a group, it doesn't have check regions, but yet it's better not to call them. So we need to do activate map, deactivate maps. For some reason, I don't have the function yet, so we need to create the function and call it. Add it to tag builder and call it when the campaign is loaded at main menu map. So we need to do that and then we need to open our old friend and check what we need to do next for the campaign testing. So I'm going to take a break, visit the bathroom, maybe make some drink, and come back. See you in part 15.